Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on August 19, 2021 at approximately 9.11 a.m. PST. Well, we've been getting a little more focused, so today I want to talk about the other side of fear. Okay, because you've only got two emotions to work with, fear and love. Well, we already dealt with the fear issue a couple of days ago. So when I'm talking about love, I am talking about simply the positive side of things. There's a lot of really good things going on out there. Now, I'm a firm believer that 90-95% of people are of a decent nature. They're, they're genuinely nice people. This does not mean they're perfect. It does not mean they necessarily agree with me. Matter of fact, there's a lot of people that don't agree with me. But that said... Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. And, you know, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the hit the, uh, the alert button to let you know when the next one comes out. Because I do try and get these out once a day. Now, there are a lot of stresses out there. There's a lot of things going on that people just do not know how to deal with, primarily because we're taught to fear. We're taught to overlook the good things and just look at all the bad things that are going on and worry about that. So, I'm here to tell you that doesn't necessarily work well. Yes, you can focus on the negative, and Lord knows there's a lot of it out there. I've seen a staggering amount of, of posting on negative things, but here's what I like seeing. There's a post I just literally read on Facebook that that talks about somebody taking the scrap from from big company from big company construction programs that they're throwing out the scrap this person down in New Zealand is taking that scrap and turning it into tiny houses for people living up to code okay it's, she's not just putting things together she's building to code right now this is one of those things that in my opinion should be on the front page this is somebody taking taking waste, turning turning it into something useful. They probably will make money off it, so be it. People require, you know, the barter system is alive and well. But we've got to start looking at, or at least it would be wise to start looking at the positive things. Okay, instead of just the negative ones going on. Now, you know, I'm a little slow on occasion, no question. I do have a tendency of jumping to the wrong conclusion. Mind you, in my case, most of the time I manage to internalize it. Bad, bad, bad idea. Okay, I internalized too much of it a couple of years back. Got myself a stroke out of the deal. Real brilliant. But when we look at what's going on, yes, you may be having a bad day. Your life may be going through some problems. But take a look at what's going on around you. Ask yourself one thing. Just pick one thing in the morning that you're happy with about you. I've mentioned all these things about take a look in the mirror and figure out something you don't like. Okay. Find out what you don't like and make an alteration, which is, it is still a very viable path. And I still use that method. Right there, right beside me, I've got that neat little pad, little list. Now, of course, I don't expect you to read it, because I'm not putting it close enough to bother. But these are the different chores I've already got listed. Ha over half are already completed. Okay, one of them is getting this recording done. Now, when you, when you get up in the morning, really, I mean, I start off on a good day. I wake up, I go, I'm not pushing daisies, I'm in good shape. Okay, from there, I move forward. Now, last night was kind of a normal night for me, really. I got, got to bed about 10, 10.30, ended up awake at 1, which wasn't great, so I got up. I was up for an hour and a half, went back to bed, and grabbed another two hours of sleep. Okay, but the important factor for me was this. I woke up in the morning. That's the first thing I look at. Did I wake up? Am I still breathing? Let's check. Yep, got a pulse. We're good to go. Now, that may be the only good thing you can see. Okay, for me, okay, I sent out um, about six months ago, I looked in the, at the scale and I was 246 pounds. Okay, and I'm looking at it going, 
I am not hitting 250. Well, I really have to work hard to hit 250 now because I'm, I'm down under 206. I don't know how far at this point. Okay, and I'll check that early next week. I'm just going to run through the weekend, carry on what I'm doing, and get on with life. But I look at it this way. You know, I'm aiming, I've got a new goal. See, a couple of them back then, I, my pants had worn out, so I went and bought a, I bought a new set. And I tell people, don't hang on to clothes that you're hoping to get back into. Okay, if it's not a realistic goal. I questioned whether it was a realistic goal. I had a 38 waist. So I bought a pair, a new pair of pants, 38. But at the same time, I bought a 36. And my goal was real simple. I desired to drop the weight. And hopefully that means I'll be able to get into the 36. Considering the 38s are getting a little too baggy for me, I'm hoping next week, and I won't know until then, that I can get back into the 36. If that happens, that will be another one of those goals that I can look at and go, made it. But you get up in the morning, take a look in the mirror, and go, okay, what is one thing about, what is one thing about me that I like about me, about the way my life is? Maybe it's that you wake up and you look in your kitchen and you go, I woke up to a clean kitchen. I like that. Okay, maybe that's all it is. And that may well be a big marker for you. Okay, Lord knows it'd be a big marker for me. I'm a terrible procrastinator. Actually, in all fairness, I'm a really good procrastinator. But take a look at what you're happy with. And absolutely keep doing the things you're content with. Okay, remember, whether you're content or not, though, follow the three karmic laws. Be true to yourself. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. Now, if you're going to a support group for whatever reason, focus on the things that are helping you, not the things that are going, oh, you're going to fail at this, or you're always going to be in trouble. I won't debate that your life may well have been a scrambled, uh, scrambled hiccup to start with. You'll have laughed at the first part of your life up until this point. However, every time you do something that you can focus on and say, I enjoyed that. Okay, that made me feel better. And you keep doing those sorts of things. The more things you're doing that make you feel better, the better, the better equipped you're going to be to treat the people around you in a more effective fashion. Because I don't know about you, but I feel so much better when I say, when I smile at somebody and say hello. I feel so much better when they smile back at me and say hello, or simply nod, you know, just acknowledge, so much better than if they turn around and, and just grumble at me, or I've been told worse. Okay, and I'm not going to repeat that. But when you're treated properly, when you're treated decently in a way that makes you feel better, you're going to be able to treat other people a little bit more effectively in that same fashion. Okay, now, give you an idea here if I've got it. Yep, I do. Okay, this is one of those things that I call positive. This is a little figure. Now, I've shown you these before. I'll show you this one in just half a second. Um, this little chap here. These figures I work on. Okay, they're little tiny things. Little, I don't know how much you can see. Okay, but they start off that way. And I picked, the, and picked this one up the same day that I picked these ones up, this one up. Okay, but I turned around and paint them. Now, it was, for me, it was really a good thing because I managed to get this character completely painted. Now, he's not perfect. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not trying to say I'm good at it. As a matter of fact, I'm definitely not. But I got it finished, and I can sit there and go, this little character is complete. I don't have to worry about doing any more to it. Okay, same as this one. is. This one isn't quite complete. I've got a little more work to do, as you can see. The bottom isn't painted yet. So they sit up here while I'm working on them, but I put them there because then I can stay concentrated on it and go, now it's right there. I know it's got to be done. Okay, and that's where this list comes in, I hope. Oh, look at that. I don't have that there, so I will do that next. Well, sort of. I've got two things that I'm going to add right here because as soon as I get done the as soon as I get done this video, 
I'll check off that, and then I'll post it, and then I'll be able to check that off. So the nice part about it is by adding two things there. Okay, I know as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to rack another two off, and then I don't have to add two more. Okay, but you do that so you can keep things moving. But you focus on the things you're happy with. Like, I get up in the morning and I go, okay, I woke up this morning. Come to think of it, I did do, did I? Yeah, I did. Woke up, well, I know I woke up this morning. That wasn't what I was thinking about. Woke up this morning, got up, turned around, got my bed made. Okay, and this is the order that my morning starts with. Okay, and I'm always happy when I get done this part of it. So, woke up, went and did my stuff in the washroom, came back, made my bed, got my exercise done, got dressed. I'm good for the day. And, of course, had my coffee ready to go. I'll tell you. I don't have a 40 cup urn anymore. I've got a 12 cup. However, I'm not drinking as much coffee either, which is probably a good thing. You know, I had a 30 cup urn. I'd go through a 30 cup. I now have a 12 cup pot. And usually I only go through 12 cups. Not bad. Eh? Not this size. This is only about three cups out of the, out of the, out of the pot I've got. And again... And this is the same thing. If and one of the of the tricks that I found, if you're aiming at losing weight, if you're trying, if you're striving to drop weight, first of all, now I'm not a dietitian, but I can tell you this: this is a logic thing. I don't care what the dietitians say or what any of the doctors say. If you're taking in less calories than you're burning, you're going to drop weight. Now, it is extremely imperative that you take in proper calories, ones that give you the proper nutrients. That's where you talk to your nutritionist or other people that know their health. Okay. But, I mean, you know, the way I look at it is this. If you're striving to lose weight, anytime you're losing more than a pound and a half to two pounds, you're likely losing the weight. You're likely dropping it too fast. Because let's not forget, if you drop a lot of weight all at once, you've got this other little problem where your skin, you're going to have all this excess skin. Now, in my personal opinion, and I can say this about me, I had way too much weight. Okay, but for me personally, I find being overweight is bad enough. Having a whole pile of excess skin does not, for me, look, look appealing at all. It looks actually worse than being overweight. But I will tell you, dropping the weight off, off my leg, off my, off my body, took a lot of the strain off my leg. Now, you set little goals for yourself. My goal where it came to dropping weight is real simple. Am I making a decline? And, you know, I made one little setback where I went up a little and I went, I don't like that direction. So I didn't go, oh, I gained weight. I'm, you know, I'm a failure. I looked at it and went, yeah, I gained a little bit of weight. So let's redouble our efforts, get back on track. And sure enough, I dropped the weight again. Okay. It's a question of staying focused. Okay, staying really focused on what you're happy with. For me, it's real simple. I've got a very simple life. I don't require a lot of technology. I do, in order to do the videos, for some reason, require a computer. Okay, can't imagine what that reason is. And as I'm hoping tomorrow, if everything goes right, tomorrow I'll go down and get the new computer that I got, that I bought a couple of a month back or so. Get it repaired. Yeah, I said that. I bought it brand new. Couldn't even get it online because of my technological challenges. But hopefully this week, I will be able to take it into the shop that I bought it from, get them to set it. So when I bring it home, I plug it in, fire it up, and it goes, you're running. I'm hoping that's the way it works. Okay, do I have a lot of faith in technology? Not in the slightest. I run into way too many problems, but... Take a look at the things that you're content with what's going on, okay, that you're happy about. That's the important factor here. Okay, now I'm going to cover something. As a matter of fact, I've got to make a point of that. Tomorrow, okay, I'm going to look at the issue of minimizing the positive, the minimizing the negative and maximizing the positive. Okay, right now we're just looking at the issue, well, for the most part, at the positive side of what you're doing that you're feeling good about. 
Okay, are you making headway on the path that you've set? Now, hopefully, if you're just joining us, okay, real quick, pick something in your life that you desire to attain. Doesn't matter what it is. There was a movie that came out in the mid-80s, I believe, called The Bucket List. In other words, it's a list of things you'd like to experience in life. Now, I haven't put a bucket list together unless you call this a bucket list. Okay, this list of, of goals that I keep here. Okay, technically it's a bucket list. It's things I desire to do. But I don't have these great big plans for traveling around the world or for seeing all sorts of things. There's a few places I wouldn't mind and maybe in time I may go. Of course, with the way the world is right now, I may be dead before it's safe to do that. You know, I don't know about you, but you see, I look at it this way. There's a lot of news out there of, you know, of wars that are brewing or of right now the real downplay, the real downside is the horrendous number of fires that are on. You know, now I could look at that and go, oh, look, you know, I could get depressed and go, everything in, in Western Canada and the Western states, there's so much fire going on. You can dwell on that. You can dwell on the idea of, look at how many animals are being, are being, displaced. Look at how much much forestation is being burned off. You can look at how many people, you know, how many buildings, how many houses have gone. Or you can do this. I know of a of a individual who who was living they were living out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. They were living out in the out in the in the wilds. But the forest and the fire hit the area took out the edge of their property, right, as in the grass, but did not get to the house. So it took out the forest on the edge. And yeah, the forest was terrible. They ended up, ended up evacuating. But when they got told they could go back into the area, they found, yeah, the forest around them had burned. Absolutely. Some of the grass had gotten black. But their house, aside from being covered in ash, was in fine shape. Now, the advantage, the advantage of, of something like that is they didn't have, you know, this is where it was really beneficial. They could not afford insurance. But because of the way they were, and I'm a firm believer that this was half the, half the benefit, because of the way that they were, their house ended up being spared. Now, I don't prefer and profess to figure out how nature figures it out. But what I do know is this person didn't have a way of replacing it. They got displaced with the fire, which was understandable. Okay, heads off to first responders and the fire people that are putting their lives on the on the line. This person got back out there. They had a heck of a mess where it came to cleaning the ash off their off their property, right? You know, off their off their building. But who cares? They still have their house. And that's what I look at. It's like, yes, all these people are losing things. Absolutely. And that is terribly depressing. You know, when the fire started, now I don't live anywhere near the forest. Okay. I live in the middle of a city. But I went, you know, there's all these problems going on. I should make sure I've got insurance. So I went down to double check and make sure I actually had house insurance. I was really happy to find out I actually do. Okay, but I look at the fires going on and the amount of damage that's being done and I turn around and go, okay, that's terrible. It's absolutely horrendous that people are losing their homes, they're losing their businesses. But the reality, the, the other side of that is I focus on the ones that, that were lucky enough to either be prepared and be able to deal with it so they could protect their home or were lucky enough to have a fire crew come in and stop the fire before it took their home, but they still got their home. We have to focus on the positive things that are coming, or you buy into the negative and then you have a lot of troubles. Okay, now it's up to you whether or not you're going to focus on it or not. Personally, I look at it like this, now, these, okay. I don't like glasses. I think half the reason I keep putting them back on is because I'm used to them. I've been wearing them since I was in grade eight, which would be roughly 12, 13 years old. I'm 58, so you're looking at 42 years with the thing stuck on my face. 
kind of a habit at this point. So a lot of the time, that's why I keep putting, taking them off, putting them back on. Okay. So when you're looking at what's going on with your life, really, absolutely, there's undoubtedly bad things. There's absolutely things that are going on that are depressing, and you may well have a whole pile of them. But if you've got a whole pile of negative things, that one really good thing happening, or that one not bad thing happening, can make all the difference in the world. If you run a business or if you work in a business and you're used to dealing with annoying people, okay, and all you're getting is grumpy people, you know, people that are, are demanding more of you than they're willing to pay for the whole nine yards, that one customer that smiles at you and says, way to go, good job, can make all the difference in the world. Now, I will go out of my way to tell people in, if you will, in safe, in safe situations, I will go out of my way to say, well done. Like the people that take care of, of the park near us. Okay, I thank them regularly for taking care of it. The only crew that I will not talk to at work to say thank you very much is this, is this group here. Those of you that are, are 911 operators that handle the 911 calls coming in, a big hats off to you, a real thank you. Because there's no way I can phone you while you're at work and say, thank you so much for your, for your assistance. I really can't, because there's people out there that need, that require your job, and your job is more stressful than just about everybody I know of. Okay, so absolutely. I'm going to say hats off to you, thank you so much, on behalf of everybody you're helping. Okay, I've had these people phone me, be phoned on my behalf. Okay, when I had the heart attack, when I had the stroke. Okay, people from Interior Health, say what you will. They are still working as best they can on the front lines of everything. Okay, like we still get them coming through regularly for the seniors, getting their medications, ignore everything else. They come to people's places to bring medications when the people can't get out to them. Focus on the positive. I would love to see people, if you, if you know somebody getting married, okay, instead of posting who shot who, Okay, or, or who ripped who off. Take a picture of the wedding. And, you know, given that you've got the permission of the, of the people getting married, post their, post their, their picture on the, on the web. Don't worry, you know, you don't even have to put their name on it. But get their permission first. Post the picture and just say congratulations. Okay. These are the things that we need to, that would be really beneficial to focus on. Okay, if you know somebody got a promotion, absolutely, give them accolades. Okay, make sure that it's acceptable that you post it on, that you, that you put their picture online. Okay, but you know, if you're not using people's, if you're not using people's names, like for instance, let's say you see somebody helping you see at a distance, somebody helping somebody across the street. Okay. Take a photo of it. Post it online. Let's start getting the positive things listed and showing more than the negative. It would make the world a difference to people. Now, you don't have to believe me. Do your own research. Take a look and see which one you feel better at. Do you feel better having seen a bunch of really positive, really happy things happening? Okay, I watched one the other day that was just priceless. Okay, there was a, and there was a, I think it was a seagull, but I'm not, no, it was a crow. Crow ended up in the, in the water and could not get out of the water. And what happened, but a grizzly bear, which usually will eat pretty much whatever is available, found it in the water, fished it out of the water, dropped it on the ground and left. Now, if a grizzly bear can do that to a, to a bird, which is usually what he eats, is it not reasonable to think that humans, regardless of who the other person is, is it not reasonable to think that we can help each other? You know, that we can actually work together and make this a better world. Now, I avoid a lot of topics for a lot of reasons. Okay, the ones, the big thing from my end is this. 
if you're going to run a world. Now, change, big, big, huge change takes time. I'm not expecting these videos to get to everybody, but I am happy to say that I am getting more and more people contacting me asking for assistance, asking for directions, or at least saying thank you for putting them out. Now, I don't do this for thanks. In all fairness, a lot of the reason that I put the videos out at this point is because my day does not feel complete if I don't do one. Okay, I think that's 26. Nope, well, close enough. Okay, so for me, this has become really part of my day. It boils down to wake up, get things done, get my exercise in, get my walk in, get the and get my video done, and get it posted. Okay, this is just the norm. It's a, it's a basic routine, but I feel better having done it. That's why I do it. The fact it is helping more and more people is fabulous. The one thing I did return to this place to do to deal with is to spread this one message globally. And that is that working together, we can make this a better world for most people. Now, I am asking for your assistance to share this video with as many people as you can. Okay, because the, the thing is, amongst all the fear, amongst all the negativity, I do my best to, to stay on the lines of what can we do to actually change your life. You're going to have to do the work. Okay, but what can you do? What tools do I know work? Which means, am I using them? Okay, the tools I offer people, if they apply to my life, I am using them. Okay, with that in mind, I am asking very, you know, I sincerely would like you to share, to share this with as many people as you can. The more people that realize, that get word, that working together, we can actually make this a better world for most people. Okay, the better off we are. So let's really stay focused on find the things that you're happy with in your life. Keep doing those while you're taking the things you're not content with and shifting them sideways. Alter the energy to make your life work a little better. In the long run, you'll feel, find it works a whole lot better. Now, on that note, I'm bringing this to a close. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, leave them below or contact me at one of the links below. And I will do my best to get back to you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.